Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thanks so much for joining me on this Facebook Live. I have ran into a few little technical difficulties, you know, Facebook Live is such a fickle thing that I always do a test run before I'm going to go live on a different private group that I have so that I can make sure everything's working properly. And what I found is it wasn't. So I'm hoping everything is working okay here now. I am going to go in and edit my settings. Okay, so you can see right back there. Whoops, this is so weird. Right back there, the words are correct. I'm gonna brighten my screen just a little bit. And then I think we're gonna be in business. Let's see, okay. So I have so many things to share with you this um, tonight. Um, I'm excited about the projects we're going to make. I have some super cute gift card holders, treat holders that I think you guys are just going to love. And hi Suzette, hi Heather, welcome. Um, happy Sunday to you too Colleen, thank you. We've got Connie from North Carolina. Uh, there's Gaylene. Welcome. Sharon, Arkansas. Please make sure you let me know where you're coming from because your comments will get you entered into a drawing for some free Stampin' Up! loot. And we all want that, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to be a winner. So make sure you let me know where you're coming from so you've commented on my video and I know that you've watched it or tuned in with me or whatever you want, we want to call that. Um, I have to share something real quick with you. This is so cute. So my friend Rachel found this, and I don't really know where she found it, but I thought it was adorable, and she said she had to buy it because, of course, work that crown, right? So I had to share that with you. I told her that I would. I've got to find a good place in my office to hang this so that it is prominent, and I remember to work that crown. <laughs> um, let's see. I have some cards to show you. I We had my team Christmas party yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday, Saturday. It seems like forever ago already. Lots going on here. Um, team Christmas party pictures are on my blog today. So you will be able... Well, actually, they were posted yesterday. Some great pictures. We had so much fun. I have a prize wheel that I decorated up with our Santa's Workshop. Um, designer series paper and then I made matching tags and and my team members w would spin the wheel and then pick which tag the paper corresponded with to win prizes so it was a lot of fun we had great food we did a shoe box swap and that's always fun and for those of you that may not know what a shoe box swap is it's where one person designs a card and um, well each person coming to the shoe box swap designs a card so I designed a card, and she designed a card, and everybody designed a card. And then we each cut, for the amount of people coming, all the layers and supplies so that they could... I'm laughing at my husband. He said he cooked the ham, and he did. Bless his heart. He's an early riser, and so I asked him if he would be willing to take care of our ham for our party yesterday um, because he gets up early, and he could throw it in the crock pot and heat it up, and he did that, and it was delicious. <laughs> so anyways, everybody um, cuts all the stuff, and you bring all the supplies to make the card in a shoebox or any type of container, really. They just call it a shoebox swap. And um, then everybody sits down and makes all the other cards, and it was just so nice, especially for me and all of my girls as demonstrators to be able to sit down and make something that somebody else had to prepare, right? Because I'm usually the one preparing everything. They're usually the ones preparing anything. Um, but that's one of the fun things about um, being on my team. If you're local, you can participate in shoebox swaps. If you're not local, each month at our meetings, I do have a card swap. And I'm going to show you the cards from that. Um, I'm going to show you just a couple of them tonight. They were so fantastic that I will be recreating them for you over the next um, couple weeks because they were amazing. So our gift or our 
our um, swap cards were gift card holders and you could use any theme that you wanted. And oh my gosh, the creativity was just amazing. Um, I love them. I also designed a gift card for that swap and I'll be showing that to you and it's using in the next couple weeks, not tonight. It's using some new product out of the Occasions mini catalog, so that's kind of exciting. Linda, she says, Steve, you are the best. Do you do windows? He does do windows. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know how I got so lucky. <laughs> I have to tell you guys that um, since Steve has retired, um, he takes really good care of me. He does almost all the cooking. I only cook once in a great little while. And um, he does do windows, and we've talked about him cleaning before, right? And um, he does all the grocery shopping. He does take really good care of me so that I am able to spend so much time in my office creating stuff to share with you guys. So, yay, Steve. <laughs> um, let's see, what else happened? Today, besides my team party yesterday... Um, we also have a gift exchange and um, that was a lot of fun. I think I have a picture on, on my blog about the gift, one of the gifts too. The other pictures that I took were fuzzy and they didn't turn out. Uh, and sometimes that happens, right? Um, today I went to brunch. Um, Anna, you guys remember Anna that was so sick la earlier this year. Um, her daughter turned 12 today, and what she wanted for her birthday was to go to brunch at one of our local supper clubs. And so we went to the Darboy Club this morning for brunch and had cake and ate and visited, and it was just really nice. Andy opened her presents, and um, we had a really nice visit. And her other grandparents came too, so that was super, super nice. Um, and a lot of fun because I don't get to see everybody very often. Um, Haley was there and my other stepdaughter Stephanie and Anna and her husband and Andy and Molly and then the other grandparents Dick and Jean were there too. So it was a really nice time. I enjoy doing stuff like that. I said we need to do stuff like that more often, right? Not just once a year. So um, we did that today and then I came home and got my butt to work on um, creating for you tonight. So I feel like I'm caught up now from being gone for so many weekends. That was, um, you know, that as much as I love my hunting season, it gets pretty crazy. So <laughs> Linda says, if Steve wants to do windows in Phoenix, he can play golf. He loves to play golf. And unfortunately, right now, he's not doing so well. Um, he's still having problems with... Um, all of his joints hurt and he can't lift his arms up and he can barely walk with his knee and, and he got a cold this week and ugh, he's had a rough few weeks. He's kind of been down since like November 23rd or something like that. Um, so we're going to the doctor on Friday to get some answers and hopefully not only some answers but some solutions to what's going on. Um, and we hope it's something minor, right? Yeah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Wendy Sue. Um, so anyways, team meeting yesterday, um, if you're long distance and you'd like to join my team, don't worry, there's lots of fun for you to have too. Um, you can join the swaps that we do and I will mail your swaps back to you on my, on my dime. So you mail them to me, I'll pay for the postage back to you if you're one of my team members. So that's always really fun too. Oh, Nancy, he's not on any cholesterol meds, so that's good to know. Um, he actually had a physical last week, and all of his numbers came back even better than the year before. So that's why we just really don't understand what's going on. And thank you, Kay, very much, because it's becoming kind of alarming now that it's been going on so long. He's just so stiff. He has had the Lyme disease test, Sue, so thanks for that suggestion. Um, and that came up negative, but I know that it can come up negative even when it's not. So, you know, how do you test for something where the test isn't really reliable? Uh, yeah. Okay. Don't forget, I have orders going in every Thursday. If you are not comfortable placing an order online, I get that. And I don't want you to feel like you're just out in the cold. You can always email me. I've had several people in the last couple weeks call me that weren't comfortable or their password wouldn't work. They couldn't get into their Stampin' Up! account. We got that fixed first, and then I placed their orders for them. And I see that they have since placed their own orders because we fixed that password. So don't ever hesitate to 
get in touch with me if you're having problems because that's that's frustrating and not fun at all. Okay. Um, don't forget, for Christmas, I have gift certificates available in any denomination, so feel free to contact me. I've had a lot of people contacting me lately to get gift certificates. Like, I know um, one of my customers, um, she told her daughter, you contact her and get a gift certificate. We all worked it out, and it's, it's, it's there already, and she's going to have a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, um, let me show some of the cards. This is just one of the cards that I made during the week just in case you missed it and this was made with the tags and trim I think it's called um, bundle of product super super fun card actually I use this for a demonstration on how to get your dies off of that card with that super sticky tape that was on Wednesday on my blog and I didn't actually um, design this card one of my team members Carrie did so super cute right um, then I have mail. I got mail this week. This card came to me from Cindy Ellers. And isn't that oh so pretty? I love the galvanized um, metallic paper that she embossed with the tin tile embossing folder here. And of course the beautiful snowflakes. I believe this is from the Blizzard bundle, I think. And um, this was Cindy's Christmas card that she sent to me. So thank you, Cindy. I also got a Christmas card from Lynette, and look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah, let me see if I can, it's kind of um, washed out because of the light. So I've got messages popping in here on my phone from my stepdaughter about Christmas movies. Um, funny story. So last yesterday, Stephanie and Anna went Christmas shopping, and I took a very long nap after my Christmas party. And... Um, my husband said, the girls are going to watch a movie tonight. And then Anna texted me and said, you want to come over and watch a movie with us? And it was after 8.30 at night. And he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're doing that. I'm going to bed. And I'm like, yeah, bye-bye. So I went over to their house, to Anna's house, and watched watched a movie. And we watched The Grinch with um, Jim Carrey. Really cute. I've seen bits and pieces, but never watched the whole thing. And that was kind of fun. And so I came home at midnight. And um, he just couldn't believe that I was going to do that. It's like, dude, I slept for like four hours today. I'm going to be up all night. So once I got home, I came in my office and did a little work. And then I hit the sack at about 1.30. So it wasn't too bad. But anyways, back to Lynette's card. I know I get off on a little tangent. Isn't this just beautiful? Oh my gosh. I just love this Bethlehem scene in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then... I got another Christmas card from Vicki. Isn't that pretty? Now this is, I believe this is a Stampin' Up! greeting. And Vicki said in here, she's so cute. She goes, um, love Vicki. Sorry, it's only half Stampin' Up! <laughs> she's so sweet. And then I got this really cool card from Mary Lynn Weller from Port Angeles, Washington. And Mary Lynn used the um, black ice technique on here. And isn't that cool? Very, very neat card. So thank you very much for that card. Then I got a card in the mail from my DDM. And what does that stand for? Demonstrator Development Manager. Whew, I can never remember that. I've had to remember it like four times going, mm, what does that mean again? Um, she sent me this card for all of my accomplishments when we were in Florida, um, all the awards that I got. And isn't that just so, so cute? Absolutely love it. And that's um, from Shannon West, by the way. She lives near Salt Lake City. And then, um, then I received a gift in the mail. I do training with a fellow demonstrator who trains Stamping Up demonstrators to help them in their business. And it's something that I've been doing for quite a while. And I joined one of her elite training programs. This is the card that I got. Oh my gosh, is that not absolutely gorgeous? It's a little belly band. And um, yeah, it's, it's really, really cute. Along with this, she sent me this sign. Oh, let me see if I can get it in there right. So I can't read it because your messages are popping up here. But it says, 
inspire verb to encourage somebody to greater effort enthusiasm or creativity to awaken a particular feeling in someone latin to breathe so isn't that neat and i am going to be displaying that right back here on my shelf because i think that's pretty appropriate for this room don't you yeah don't forget to share my video thanks bridget and kimberly thank you so much um, don't forget to share my video. You can click on that share button right now and nothing bad will happen. <laughs> Just want to be perfectly clear about that because sometimes bad things happen when you start touching things, right? Okay, then I promised that I would show you the swap cards from my team meeting. And um, hi, Pat. Hi, Joanne. Thank you so much. So we have this gorgeous card. Isn't that so pretty? This was made by Kathy. She's a member of my team using the what is that stamp set called you guys mm. it's got a wreath in it too wishes something wishes you guys know what it is i've used it before right um yeah i thought i had a card over there but anyways beautiful beautiful card wishing you well that's it Whew. here's another one made with the same stamp set and they used the um tufted embossing folder so we we stamped it first, and then we did the embossing folder. So the whole thing is embossed. Isn't that pretty? Here is another gorgeous one. And this looks kind of washed out because I have that light on. Maybe I should turn that light off. Hang with me just in case things go wrong here. Yeah, there we go. You can see that a little bit better. We sponged the background piece, then ran it through the um, softly falling embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I thought so too. Here's another one, and this uses, can you see the background uses that subtle, subtle embossing folder? Let's see if I can get it close enough. There, there you can see it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, so pretty. Absolutely love that. Of course, I stamped up all my envelopes with these cards, too. I don't know where all my envelopes are. Oh, here's one of them. And then this was another one of the cards. Very, very pretty. Now, all of these cards were super quick and easy to make. The perfect kind of cards where you can crank out just a whole bunch of them. And I loved that about these. And then I have one other card. Are you ready for a sneak peek? This is a new stamp set coming out in the Celebration brochure. And can you see the detail in there? Oh my gosh, this also uses the subtle embossing folder. This flower is actually cut out and popped up on a dimensional. I think you guys can see that. Super, super pretty. Okay, um, so those were our swap cards. Now, not everybody in attendance at the meeting did the swap, and that's fine too. You don't have to be obligated. All three items that we did at the meeting, the gift card swap, the shoebox swap, and the gift exchange swap were all optional so some people just came to eat the food and enjoy the fun and and win the prizes which is super fun we had christmas music and i you guys saw the pictures if you looked at my blog i had it all decked out it was just really really a nice time all right um we have brand new catalogs coming out ah, i know i'm super excited for these to get going and I was kind of explaining at my meeting yesterday, it's really hard because I'm trying to make swaps right now. In in the month of December, while everybody's Christmas shopping, Stampin' Up! demonstrators are making swaps because we have new catalogs coming out. And I have um, swaps hanging from my little shelf over there so I know um, which ones are due when and how many I have to make and who they're going to. Um, so I've been working on making swaps with the new product and don't worry I'll be showing it to you soon um, and and then trying to continue to keep up with product that's in the current catalog so it's been like oh, little 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 bit more on my plate than I'd like to have right now um what else can I tell you guys I think it might be time to tell you who won the prizes from last week thank you guys so much for watching my Facebook live not live last week um i got so many wonderful comments on it i really really appreciated that 
And um, Cindy, when do people receive their catalogs? You will be getting them probably starting um, next week. They should be coming out maybe late this coming week or next week. You should be getting them. Anybody who's placed an order with me in the last six months will get a mini catalog and celebration brochure. So watch for those in your mail. And if we get to the end of the month and my customers still don't have theirs, I ask them to let me know and I will um, mail out another set because sometimes things get lost in bulk mail. You know, they just do. Okay, somebody asked me another question. Hang on, I'm gonna get set up on my, um, on my laptop here so that I can see. Oh, Jenny, thank you. Somebody asked me how they get notifications when I'm going live. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on the like button. So everybody click the like button that's on my Facebook video right now. There's a like button. You click that button and then I think there's some place where a little drop down menu will come with an arrow. You click the arrow and a drop down menu will happen. I think that's just on my page though. And then you can click on following because then that means anytime I do something, it'll pop up in your news feed. So, that's just a good way to do that. Let me mute my computer because I certainly don't want to hear myself talking twice here. And hang on just a second. I'm going to get myself all ready so I can see more comments than I can see on my, on my phone screen. Okay, prizes. We have Kathy Adams from Grays Lake, Illinois. You are going to win a pack of these. And this is for Kathy's comment on my Facebook Live, not live last week. So congratulations, Kathy, and thank you very much. I will be mailing that out with a really pretty Christmas card um, tomorrow. I have everything ready to go. I've got your envelopes addressed. I was like on my game today. <laughs> um, and then we have for, let's see, where's my notes? For sharing my video, and actually Ella, um, Stanel is the winner of the Santa's Workshop Memories and More card pack. These are so fun. You can use these for scrapbooking or making cards. Um, they're just super, super cute. Ella won this for sharing my video, and she actually shared it on YouTube. So make sure you're clicking on the share button here on Facebook. If you're watching it later on Facebook, you can still share it. And if you're watching later when I upload it to YouTube, click on that share button again. All of that helps me out a great deal. And um, the last gift giveaway is for Sherry Orr, and Sherry is from Zephyr Hills, Florida. And Sherry won this beautiful bobble stamp set for placing an order in the last week. So thank you very much to all of you and congratulations. We're going to be using these tonight, so I'm pretty sure that um, Kathy's going to be happy she's getting them in the mail. All right, let me set those aside so I don't lose them. Yeah, because I did that one time. It, they weren't lost for very long, but I was pretty frantic trying to find them. Um, I set them someplace, and then I'm like, oh, I'll remember they're here, right? Who does that? Who else has that little problem? Because <laughs> it happens to me a lot. Um, my gift for my gift exchange for my team meeting yesterday. So I gave that, remember that snow, the word snow, and then the little sleigh that I framed? Well, I made one of those, and then I made a video, so I made another one, but I didn't frame it yet. The, the one I gave away as a gift when we were in Orlando for a gift exchange with our teams. And um, then this other one that I hadn't framed yet, I wanted to give as my gift exchange for my team meeting. Well, about three days ago, I put it someplace because it's on watercolor paper. So it was kind of, you know, they kind of are warped a little bit. So I wanted to put it under something to flatten it. I'm like, oh, I'll remember it's there. Who does that? Who puts stuff someplace and go, oh yeah, I'll remember it's there. Yeah, no, I couldn't remember. And you know what? I spent so much time searching for that, that I could have made another one and taken up less of my time. <laughs> but I was stubborn and I was not going to quit until I found it. And I did finally find it. I set it underneath one of my bins that's over here on my table to keep it flat. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness, right? Okay, so if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I would love to earn your business. 
you pop me um, an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and I will send you these new catalogs as soon as they come out. Also, let me know if you need the big catalog, our annual catalog, because if you already have one, that's fine. I'll just mail these to you. But if you need a big catalog, I want to make sure that I put it all together. Um, and I'm happy to do that. Okay, so I said that I had a big announcement tonight. And while I haven't figured out all the logistics for this big announcement, I decided that I wanted to tell you about it right away. So if you have ever placed an order with me, you will have access to my VIP Facebook group. And I put the link on my page earlier tonight with a cute little video of me using a Snapchat filter, which I love to do because they make your voice all cute and they take away all the blemishes and all that good stuff. But um, if you have placed an order with me, you have access or you should have access to that group. A lot of times when I email the invitation to join that group, people don't respond to it. It goes to their, um, it doesn't come into their inbox. It goes someplace else in their email. So anyways, if you have placed an order and you clicked on that link and it did not work for you, you need to contact me. Let me know so I can get you in the group because my big announcement is I had an outstanding November and I just want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart who um, helped me with numbers, with sharing my video, with getting the word out. Um, I hit 11,000 subscribers on YouTube a couple weeks ago. That's huge for me. And um, I received a lot of orders and I'm so very grateful. And when um, things like that happen, I like to share that because I feel like you guys share so much of me with the, um, with the world by sharing my videos that I wanna share back with you when things are going really good. So I'm gonna have over $400 in product that I am going to be giving away on my VIP page. And if um, I'm also going to have some exclusive um, Facebook Lives that I'm going to be doing on there. Don't worry, I'm not going to quit doing my Sunday night at 7 p.m. So you don't have to worry about that. But I will have some ex exclusive videos on there. I'm going to start sharing some sneak peeks with the product from the Occasions Mini Catalog and Celebration. And videos and cards like... Here's a stamp set or a bundle that's coming out, and I'm going to make four cards with it on a Facebook Live on my VIP group. So if you would like to get into that VIP group and you haven't yet, all you need to do is go to my online store and place an order. And yes, Vicki, it's going to be only for U.S. residents because you must place an order to be in that VIP group. Don't worry, I'm still going to be sharing stuff with you guys on this page. This is just a special Thing to help all of those people who have placed orders with me um, and that's what I mean pretty much when I say that I had a really good month um, orders were up and um, that gives me more product to give away to you so I just want to reward people for being so kind and unfortunately it is only for US customers so um, you want to take care of that right away and um, my daughter just popped up with a message. You know, I told my phone, I put my phone on do not disturb. And all these messages shouldn't be popping up at me, I'm sure. So that makes me crazy. Okay, so share, comment, order. Those are the three ways that you can um, earn prizes. Oh, I'm going to plug my phone in here before I forget. And the other thing I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to lower my stand so that you're a little closer to what I'm working on. I know I've had people say that um, it's a little too far away. So I can't zoom in on Facebook Live. I've, I've gotten it to work once, but more often than not, it shuts off because you're not supposed to be touching your screen in other places than where that menu is. So it's scary. <laughs> so I'm not going to zoom in with my phone, but I am going to lower my stand so that you're a little bit closer. You guys let me know what you think of that, okay? Because, um, yeah, but I think, Mercy, if I put my phone on airplane mode, I won't have internet access either, will I? I don't know. That's an idea. But my do not disturb should work. I mean, it should work. I need to go in and get my phone looked at because it's been doing a lot of stupid things lately. There's nothing like a phone that doesn't work, right? Ugh. 
Okay, I think we're ready to make some cards. Um, I'm gonna bring in my bin here and kind of get it unloaded. And hi, Mary, welcome, and Deb, so glad you could join tonight. I am going to be making a couple different projects with the envelope punch board. So I'm super excited about this because you're gonna have two different things to make with your envelope punch board if you have one. And if you don't have one, I, I sell those. <laughs> you can get one from me and then you'll get in my VIP group, right? Okay, um, let me, I'm still just kind of unpacking here and then I'm gonna flip my phone over. Here's my directions. I shouldn't say directions. I always write down my measurements. Yes, Gilmore. So it'll disable my Wi-Fi. And I have to have Wi-Fi to be on a Facebook Live. So I think just going into the um, phone store and saying, you need to fix this phone. My phone is just a year old. And have you guys heard that thing where Apple did this thing with their software that if your phone gets to be about a year old, the software starts slowing down and not updating and doing all this stuff so you'll go buy a new phone. Yeah, not happy about that. And I know that was announced a long time ago. It's nothing new, but it seems like that's what's happening. And I paid like a fortune, fortune for this phone because it's got 256 gigs of memory. It's bigger than my laptop. So yeah, okay, are we ready to flip? Now, if we get disconnected, Come back onto my page, look for a new Facebook Live because sometimes that happens, right? So I am going to pull you guys out. I'm gonna flip you around. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes until I'm done here. Okay, things are going okay. Oops, I don't want you to look at all my big mess back there. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's shocking that I should have a mess back there, but I do. All right, and now I'm going to turn my phone around, or my um, mirroring. Turn that off. There we go. So far, so good. Hook my phone up so that cord's out of the way. And I think we're good to go. Yay! All right, let me move you down just a little bit more. Okay, you guys, we're going to see how this works. Okay, you can open your eyes. This is pretty darn close. I just need to make sure that I keep everything in this area. So give me a holler if I don't have everything in the area where it needs to be. All right, let's see, what are we gonna make? So this card that we're gonna make came about from um, my team party yesterday. And we had uh, gift cards as our theme for the swap. And so I decided to recreate one of these for you. So let me get out all my little bits and pieces here. And my backups. Because <laughs> you, you guys do realize that I always have backups, right? Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> Just in case things don't go well. Because I, I hate it when you guys have to sit and watch me redo something because... I messed it up or something. Yeah. I know it's real life, but... Okay. Um, I need to get these messages off my screen. Okay. Here we go. Now, did you guys see that this punch box is on sale right now? It's normally $45. This beautiful tin, which is pretty good size. I mean, you could put a lot of cookies in here when you're done with this. Um, it comes with... A block and oh by the way this is called what is this called the Christmas punch box is that what it's called you guys mm, I don't remember but it's on sale $27 normally 45 this is a great gift it comes with a block it comes with two different um, Stampin spots one in call me clover and the other in real red it comes with this Adorable punch. Let's see if it's traditional label punch, it's called. And a really cute stamp set with these images. Let me get this out of here. Um, backwards, yep, here we go. With these Christmas images. So, we're going to be using this for a couple different things tonight. 
And of course, I have the big ink pads, so I don't need to use these ink spots. But let me show you what I made. Okay, envelope punch board. I have got a piece of our All Is Calm designer series paper. No, All Is Bright. Let me grab that. Remember, I have used this over and over and over for a just a ton of different things that I've made this holiday season. Christmas Traditions Punch Box. Thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate that. Um, we've used this paper and this paper and this paper. Um, we've used this paper a lot. Tonight I'm going to use this, and I think I've used this before, but I'd like to be able to show you ideas with all the different patterns, right? So... I have got a piece of this designer series paper, and this is eight by eight. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White here, and this is three and five eighths by two and five eighths, and a piece of Real Red that is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I think you guys can see this pretty good, right? Okay, I think so. All right, then I'm kind of reading the messages here as they're coming through. Um, then I took and I die cut a Whisper White stitched shape framelit square. And then I did the scalloped to be just a little bit bigger. And this is from the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. Now this is still available. I know a lot of our stuff has been going out of stock in our holiday mini catalog, but you can still get this giant pack of glimmer paper too. So I was pretty excited about that. So I've got that. Now, oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, I usually cover a whole bunch of these so you don't have to look at messiness, but I forgot to do that. Okay, so we're gonna stamp um, the inside piece first here, and then I'll show you how to make all of this stuff. And here we go. So I've got this greeting, it's from Timeless Tidings, that's why I had this out here. I've been using this for just the insides of my cards so much. I love the fonts on this stamp set. And we're going to ink this up in real red and make sure that I've got it right side up. Oops, I see there's a smear on that side. And we're just gonna stamp this right up here. And that turned out beautiful. I'll tell you, I had to stamp that several times earlier today because I kept getting it crooked. Doesn't that make you crazy? It's like, come on. I'm supposed to be a professional here. Okay, then we're going to take this piece and mount it. Now, this is the inside greeting. So, nothing too big and fancy here. Oh, I see I got a little bit crooked. Here we go. Okay. Then we're going to take this scrap of real red and we're going to use the punch and the stamp for the punch on that. Did anybody see um, my embossing buddy? Here it is. Okay. So today I'm doing something a little different. What is that piece you're stamping on? Oh, this. See, now today I'm doing something a little different. I am standing up so I can see the messages come in on my phone as they're coming in because I, I miss messages. This is our piercing mat. I think Linda just asked that question. And I just cover it with printer paper and some tape to protect it from not getting ink all over it. You should be using some type of a cushion under your stamping, more so when you're using bigger photopolymer stamps. If you ever find that you have a photopolymer, which is the clear rubber, if you find that you have a photopolymer stamp that's kind of a little bigger and it doesn't stamp good and you think, oh, it's just a bad stamp, that's not the case at all. You put a little cushion under it, it will stamp perfectly. Okay, Versamark ink. Here we go. If anybody's tuning in late, please feel free to share my video. You can click on that share button right now. That helps me out a lot. I've got gold embossing powder here. And I think Cindy is watching tonight, Cindy Ellers. Back when Cindy um, first started stamping, we had a long conversation about embossing powder. And I'm sure she's shaking her head right now because yes, she will remember that. She's got a really good memory, unlike mine. 
But if you're finding that when you use your embossing powder at home and it doesn't work very good, um, your biggest problem, if it doesn't give you a nice, um, really good image, is the embossing powder itself. Stampin' Up's embossing powder is very high quality. And um, what we found is you can do a comparison with store-bought embossing powder and Stampin' Up! embossing powder. Use it side by side, hands down, you will notice the difference. This is some really good stuff. So if you're noticing that your stuff doesn't emboss very good, it's like um, not real solid, it's kind of chunky looking, it's your powder. You buy cheap powder, you're going to get a cheap result. And unfortunately with embossing powder, that's just the way it is. So get yourself some Stampin' Up! embossing powder and you won't have that problem. I'm going to hit the heat tool. Takes it just a little bit to warm up. And then once it warms up, can you see it turning? I love to watch it turn. It's like that's the magic part. Love, love, love this. Sending Christmas wishes. Okay, then we're going to pull that little punch in here that came in the punch box. And we're going to punch this out. And I just love these little images. I think they're perfect. Perfect little embellishment for our cards. Okay, let me clean this off. Then, another thing I wanted to do, let me get, whoops, let me get this closed, is bring in this Joyous Noel glimmer paper. And we're going to use that Bulb Builder Punch. Now, I think this might be on sale also. Who knows if this is on sale? I think it is. I'm just going to punch out the red part of the bulb there. And then, let's see. I think maybe we'll do some green. Yep, I think that's what I want to do. And I just want that little end for the bulb. That little piece right there, okay? All right, let me get this out of the way. If you ever die cut things, I always put them back in here because I just decided I didn't want to use this, so I just put it back in. Okay, here we go. So, mini dimensionals, and then we're going to get to that envelope punch board to make this. I think you guys are really going to be impressed with this. Here comes some mini dimensionals. I think I want to make this bulb. I know this might be hard to see, but I'm just going to overlap a little bit here. If I can get a hold of it. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put my mini dimensional, which is now sticking to my fingernail, of course, right? Right on there. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to attach that to my inside piece. This is just a cute, oh, I see I got a little fuzzy hair in there. Hang on, that will never work. That'll make me crazy. There we go. Okay, so this is our inside layer. This is for the front. Let's make our gift card holder. We are going to take this eight by eight piece of designer series paper, and we are going to pull out our scoring tool. Now, when you use the envelope punch board, you always, your first punch and score, you're going to do with measurements here. Then it's different after this first edge. So I'm going to push this in up to three and a quarter. And you guys don't have to worry. I've got all of these measurements typed up. And I will be posting them above this video. Once the video is over, I post it to the Facebook page. And you can go through and watch it again. You can fast forward, fast forward it, pause it, rewind it. Um, but you'll find in the description above the video all of these measurements. So three and a quarter is where we're going to start. We're going to punch and score. And now each time after that, you're not going to worry about the measurements. You're going to put this score guide, which is this little pointer deal, you're going to put this on that score line. And I'm going to stand up again, so I just sat down. I want to make sure that I can see your comments coming in. Whoops. Okay, here comes our score line and our punch. I'm lining the score line up with the score guide again. This thing looks intimidating, but it's really super easy to use. And one more time, this is our last side. 
score punch. Okay, now we are going to round a couple of the ends. And you can see that this is a big rectangle here. It's this wide by that tall. The one that's wide, we're going to round those edges. And it doesn't matter if you round all the edges. It's certainly not going to hurt anything. But our punch board has a corner rounder on this other side. So that's what I've done there. Now, put this away. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, put this away because I have misplaced this little bugger and it really works nice for this. Put it back in the slot. Just do it. <laughs> Don't be like me. Put it back where it belongs. Okay. Um, yeah, Cindy says she thinks it's intimidating. I know, but it's really easy. You just measure the first time and then from there on out, you just put, put that little pointer on your score lines. Punch and score, punch and score, punch and score. All done. Boom. Okay, here we go. We are going to, okay, let me look. I got to make sure I'm telling you how to do this right. So, so this is our big rectangle, right? We are going to take and fold this in half. Now, you could score it down the middle if you want, and if you were using cardstock instead of um, designer series paper, I might consider scoring it. But because this is designer series paper, it's a little more lightweight, you don't really need to score it, which makes it easier, right? Okay, so that's all we did. We folded that in half. Now, you're going to take these ends, and you're going to fold it up to that first score line. So I've got the point right there. And then, where did my scissors go? Right here. I got my big kahuna scissors here. You're just going to cut this corner off. And you know what? You don't even have to be too picky about this. It doesn't have to be super straight. Doesn't matter. There you go. You could measure and figure all that out, blah, blah, blah. But who wants to go through all that? Now, with this one, I could fold it up. Or you can just go right here in the middle and cut that corner out. You don't even have to fold it if you don't want to, but the folding it makes a nice guide for you. And I know this really, the fact that I just did that freaks people out. <laughs> and it's okay. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have Pepsi. I'm still on a Pepsi kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm drinking Pepsi. And Vicki says hers is in a drawer for the last few years until someone actually showed her how to use it. And that's one of the wonderful things about following someone on like YouTube or Facebook or going to um, classes or home parties. I had the stamp -a jig for years and didn't know how to use it. I bought it, but I didn't know how to use it until I went to a party and the demonstrator showed me how. So that was pretty cool. Okay, now you're just going to fold on all the score lines here. This was surprisingly simple. And you guys know I love to show you simple, right? Because this is all recreatable. Okay, here we go. Are you with me? Are you following me here? Yeah, let's get this glued down. You're going to love this one. And it's going to help you with your paper hoarding problem. Because <laughs> I, know, I know we all have that problem. Celebrating the Packer win. Yes, Elaine, that was quite the game, wasn't it? Our Green Bay Packers, for those of you that are overseas, is our football team for Wisconsin. And it's a professional football team, and they won today. And they really actually um, kind of opened up a big can of you-know-what. On Who did they play? I don't even remember. So that was pretty exciting. Okay, here comes this piece. Whoops, I almost... Oh, look at that. That's not even staying in place, you guys. I'm going to put another dimensional under there. Heavens, we do not want our cards falling apart. That is not okay, right? Let's see if I can get a... How about if I put a dimensional, like, right there? And then I'll stick my little top to it. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. I could have just really messed things up here, but we'll see. No judging. Yep, I did. Here we go. I love these mini dimensionals. Do you guys love them? Absolutely love them. <laughs> this is if this is the thing that's going to give me a hard time. There we go. That looks better. I'm like, "Really?" Okay, now, instead of putting glue on the back of this layer, you don't want to do that. You want to add some glue right here cuz we're only going to do it on three sides. And then you can put a little bit there. So, boom, boom, boom right here. 
Atlanta, yes. Is Atlanta terrible or... Yeah, I don't know. Because our Packers haven't been doing very good. They fired the coach last week. I was at that game. That was a historic game. We had our coach for 13 different seasons. So that was pretty crazy. Now, here's where your, where your gift card goes in. Do you love this? Yeah. I do too. Okay. And now we need to decorate the front. So here's what we're going to do. Um, another thing, you guys that are demonstrators, you can use these as a really cute way to give out your business card in here instead of a gift card too. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Angie. She says, put a little bit of glue on your dimensional. I don't think I'm going to need it. I think it's going to stay right there. I think we're going to be okay with that, but that's a great tip. Okay, here comes the rest. Now, I am going to, whoops, grab this. Now, I decided to pull in gold because the ends on these light bulbs is gold. So I thought that was a really good color to stick with, right? So I'm going to pull this around. And we're going to tie this in a bow. And this is our gold-edged ribbon. Gold metallic edged ribbon, I think it's called. I love this. And you can color this with the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers and make it any color you want. And it's so, so pretty. Now I've got like three more samples of this card to show you. I'm not gonna make any more of these, but I will show you some other ideas. Cause I like to do that. That probably takes me as long to figure out figure out what I'm going to make for you guys. And then I like to make a bunch of different ones, right? Because I just, I don't know, as a demonstrator, I like to see different ideas. Thank you, Linda. Linda says, love it. Clever and cute idea. Okay, here we go. Then I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to straighten this out because you guys can see that that's crooked and it will make me crazy, right? You need to leave this long enough so that it can be untied and retied if need be. Okay, now I'm going to come in. Um, this is that scalloped square out of the Joyous Noel, and you're going to put four dimensionals on this. You want this to be good and sturdy. This is a gift card, and people, you know, they have to open it and goof around with it, and you don't want it falling apart on them. So what did you guys have for supper tonight? I got to eat right before I came on live, and my husband made stir-fried... Mm, it was Chinese. It was chicken with cashews and broccoli. Mmm. It's really good. Okay, so I would probably center this. <laughs> like, let's try that, Kelly. And I pushed those dimensionals down really hard. Now I need to move this one. Because you know that's going to make me crazy. Hang on, you guys. I messed it up. That happens, right? Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to center this on the front. That looks better. That'll make me happy. Okay, and then here comes the white layer. Now, you know that glue adhesive tape doesn't like to stick to this glimmer paper or any glimmer paper. It's not just this glimmer paper. So I am going to use some mini glue dots, and that seems to stick really good to glimmer paper. Just my experience. A banana for lunch, sloppy joes and mac mac and cheese dumplings and mashed potatoes. Ooh, chicken pot pie, Karen. I bought a pot pie at the deli at our local grocery store um, just a couple weeks ago. And oh my gosh, it was so good. I used to have, my mom used to make pot pies. Well, she took them out of the box and put them in the oven. That's one of the very few things that she didn't make homemade <laughs> when I was a kid. And I still like them. Okay, and here comes, um, let's see. Where did all those bits and pieces go that I had out here? Here they are, right here. Now watch what I do with this. Oh, you know what? I kind of messed that up already. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to pop this off. Yeah, look at that mini glue dot. Those little buggers really stick good. Okay, so I need to do something here first before I do that. And I think what I had in mind was to kind of swish this back and forth just like that yep that's what I wanted to do now I'm going to make sure that my mini sequence here hmm, 
There we go. There we go. Now it's happening for me. Just put a little bit of bling in here. I think this is going to look really neat. If I can get a hold of it. Oh my gosh. Come on, Kelly. There we go. Okay. Where'd my tape go? Right here. And I think that's going to be too big. Chicken noodle soup, that sounds good too. We had, um, they had biscuits and gravy on the buffet today for brunch. And oh my gosh, I love biscuits and gravy. And nobody ever makes it for me because my husband doesn't like it. So I get that. So when I go someplace that has it, I always order that. I love it. And I know it's really fattening, but oh, it's so good, isn't it? We weren't caring too much about that this morning. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, I know. One more thing. There goes another dimensional. I wanted to do this. Yep. That's what I wanted to do. Right on the bottom of this. Okay. Now we can put that dimensional on there. Look at this. Now, isn't that just spectacular? Look at how gorgeous that is. Bling, blingity, bling, bling, bling. And we're going to open that up. I know, I know. I'll get that bow tied again, you guys. Don't worry. And here's where our gift card goes. Or... If you're a demonstrator or any type of business that you would want to give somebody a fancy business card, you can put your business card in there too. What do you guys think? Pretty cute, right? Okay, now I'm going to make you watch me do this again. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to tie this quickly in a bow. And I'll bring out the rest of them and show them to you. Then when I get done with my Facebook Live tonight, I will... Take pictures of all of these and post them on my blog right away, too. I used to wait until Tuesday to do that, but I thought, gosh, you guys want this information now while it's still fresh in your head. You just watched it, right? So that's when I decided to start posting them right away on Sunday night. Okay, there we go. Here's one. Let me get this all out of the way. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. So I use this sprig punch. This punch is also in our holiday mini catalog and it was on back order for a really long time. I just had some come in yesterday. It's available again. So look at how beautiful that is. I'll show you the inside here. I won't make you wait for me to tie it back up. Look at that. I use the tree from the Timeless Tidings. You guys, this is a really great greeting set. I love the tree and the poinsettia and the ivy in there. But look at how pretty that is. Mm, same paper. Same paper. Okay. And then I have one more here. Well, I have two actually. Check this out. Again, same paper. This is the All is Bright paper. Isn't that pretty? And I used the, um, what is that country stamp set? That pack of Baker's Twine. Got it here someplace. I think maybe I'm using it on another project. I'll show it to you if I drag it out. But I think it's in there someplace. And then I'll open this up. Again, I use that sprig punch with the Joyous Noel. This was gold glimmer paper. This is the Joyous Noel cherry cobbler paper. I also used it underneath here. And again, with that Christmas tradition punch, all of these use that punch box. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. And remember this. Somebody that watches me gave me a $50 gift card to Amazon just because they wanted to pay it forward. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? That happened um, earlier this year. I was just flabbergasted. And then this was the original that I got from one of my team members, Kathy. Kathy Beck made this. And she used the, um, I think this is the designer series paper that's in the annual catalog, our Christmas paper. This is where I got the idea, and she used that um, braided trim. That's what it's called. So, yeah, 
awesome, awesome gift card holders. And I actually started my Christmas shopping and I bought um, four or five gift cards yesterday because you know, that's kind of what everybody's asking for. And they can get whatever they want. And you know what? I've never been a big gift card giver because I think it's boring and it lacks creativity and <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, I also hate, hate, hate the thought that my money is wasted on stupid things. <laughs> I just really do. Like, I work hard for my money and if I buy somebody something and they don't like it or hate it or whatever, I always give them the receipt and beg them to take it back if they don't like it and they don't even have to tell me. I just want my money to be going someplace that's worthy or whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, so yeah. Um, but if I can give gift cards away in something like this, oh my gosh. Now today for Andy's birthday, I gave her a gift card to the movie theater and I printed out a picture from the summer of her with a great big walleye or maybe it was a bass. I think it was a bass that she caught when she was fishing. And I took that picture and put it in a really cute frame. And I gave that to her with the gift card to the movies just because I wanted to give her something besides, here, here's a gift card, right? So, super fun. Um, here, I'll lay this down here. And when you guys rewatch this video to make these again, you'll be able to kind of stop and pause on this and know exactly what you need to do with the sizes and the envelope punch board. So hang tight while I clean up some of these supplies so I can get the next amazing project ready. And here we go. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, I was going to tell you guys, um, remember when we used the uh, gold glimmer paper with the words and I put um, the adhesive sheets on the back? Well, that's what I punched out these sprigs from is these scraps that I kept. And they have they have the adhesive sheets on the back, so I just peeled off the sheets and stuck them right on there. So I was glad that I still had these. Don't throw these kind of things away, right? Because <laughs> we're hoarders. <laughs> That's what we do. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the space heater that's underneath my desk because it's making me pretty darn warm. And this next project, I do have to say, I'm pretty darn excited about because it's really cool. All right, let's put this aside. Again, we're going to be using the envelope punch board for this beauty. You guys are going to love, love, love this. Hi, Mary Olson. Welcome. Okay. Here comes all these supplies. We have some punches here. And I'm using the Candy Cane Season Stamp Set and the Candy Cane Punch along with the Tag Topper Punch. This particular um, bundle of products is still available, okay? And this punch is on sale. It's part of our year-end closeout sale. Here's that stamp set. I'll kind of push that in there while I'm unloading stuff here. Oh, here's the Festive Farmhouse Cotton Twine. That was the... Um, Cherry Cobbler Baker's Twine that I used on the last gift card holder. And then I also pulled, oops, a die from the Merry Christmas Thinlets. And we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, and I really think I'm going to sit down now. Oh, happy birthday, Judy! All right. Here we go. Let me see if I can pull this one off. So, I've got myself a note here. Don't forget to punch the window because I did on the sample that I made. And I'm like, oh, don't do that during your Facebook Live. And then here comes our dimensions. And again, these will all be posted for you, so you don't need to worry about that. Put this away. Okay. And I've got another note to myself. All right, so... We're going to start off with this designer series paper. Now, where is this paper coming from, right? Well, I decided that I needed to use this paper from the All Is Bright designer series paper pack because I haven't used it yet, and I have several sheets of this, so I was really glad that this worked out for the project that I'm doing. And Kathy's saying if you don't have the decorative 
or the envelope punch board could you use a decorative envelope you can do whatever you want I'm just showing you how to make projects using the envelope punch board Kathy so you could do whichever way you wanted to um I think these punch boards are $20 and oh my gosh to be able to make your own envelopes to match your cards I think is kind of priceless so just want to let you know that okay this piece of cardstock is six and five eighths by I mean designer series papers six and five eighths by six and five eighths so we're going to start with this first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it in my punch board and I'm going to take it up to one and three eighths inches now my um one of my team members and my friend Cindy she's the one who showed me this project I did not design this I mean I designed the one I'm going to show you but I did not um come up with this box idea it's it's out there and I'm just showing you what I did with it so yeah Lynn says plus you're using it for other things than envelopes yeah I'm making boxes out of it I'm making gift card holders it's a really valuable tool so one and three eighths inches that's where you're gonna start you're gonna punch and score and now we're gonna do something weird here we're going to now slide this over to three and three eighths inches and we're going to do this again and this is very unusual with the envelope punch board that you would do that twice okay now we are done with this just like any other time we're going to turn this we don't use this anymore we're going to use this guide now and you're going to you're going to score and punch on each one of these um, score lines so here's my score line right here punch score move it over here's my other score line remember we put two in there punch and score we're gonna turn it here's my line we're gonna line that up with that guide we're gonna score and punch and now we're gonna line it up with this line score and punch and what I recommend you guys do is get out a scrap of paper and do this so that it makes sense to you because it seems really complicated but it's really not now we're going to turn and do the same thing. Score and punch. Score and punch. And this is what we end up with. Pretty weird, right? Okay. Now I am going to move this out of the way. And again, put that knife away so you don't lose it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> It'll make you cry. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to fold down these lines and here's what I'm going to tell you. These two pieces that are down here on each side, we need to trim them off a little bit. Okay, so when we score on this next one, see how I just folded that in? We're going to cut that right off. We don't want this here. And it doesn't have to be precise. It's no big deal. Again, like this, now we're going to score on that next, or fold on that next score line. We've got this. Oh, that was kind of crooked. That's not good. Hang on. I want it to be kind of straight. But it's not rocket science. You don't have to be real picky with this. Some things you have to be very precise with. This is not one of them. What's dashing along? Oh, dashing along designer paper? No, this is not. This is... I don't know what that conversation was, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is actually the All is Bright Designer Series paper, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, with the envelope punch board, Angie says you get a scorer, bone folder, and edge rounder unit too. Well, you know, it's not a bone folder, but it is a scoring tool. Okay, here we go. Fold on all the score lines, and this is gonna make up a really cute little box. And I think we've got everything done here. Now, in order to make a box, where are my paper snips? Here they are. You know that we need to cut here. And the Ho 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 gift card from my friend. What about that, Lisa? I missed what you were talking about. And we're going to cut here. I'm just turning this over because it's easier for me to cut on the right side of this tab. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? You need to cut those. Now, 
we need a window in this box. Thank you, Cindy Ellers, because she said, don't forget the window. I know. And that's why I had a note here someplace that I took off that said, don't forget the window. <laughs> okay. Now, the window is going to go right in this middle panel here. And I want my window to be just a little bit longer than one of these dies. And you can use anything for this, but this one works pretty good. And where did this go? It's from the Merry Christmas Thin Lip Dies. You have a smaller little label here, and then you have this bigger one. And I'm using the bigger one. So I'm going to bring my big shot in. And... I'm using some washi tape. Now you'll notice that this is too wide to go through your big shot, okay? Just fold over one of those tabs and it'll fit just fine. We're gonna die cut that. I wanna make sure that that little framelit is on that layer straight too, okay? Here we go. And now I'm gonna pull this up and we're going to place this back on here so it cuts just a little bit more. And if you pay attention to your die cut edges that you've already done, you can kind of click this into place. You can feel it click right into place where it belongs. And I just want to make sure that I'm getting this about the same distance from this score line and this score line. So just center it in there. You'll know what I mean when you're making yours. Sometimes it's harder to explain these things. Oh, hang on, I taped it down there. There we go. Make sure I'm fitting it through the machine. This part's pretty easy. Hi, Jennifer Watson. Yeah, Linda, it does look easy, right? This is not bad at all. Okay, it just looks intimidating. And that's what you guys need to remember. I have some customers that are scared of paper. And I say that with, um, with just lots of love, but they're afraid to do the next step. It's just paper. It's just paper. You can try again. Don't be afraid of paper. There's nothing to be afraid of with paper. All right, now, here, here was my punch hole, Cindy. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Oh, that's for something else. Hang on, I'm laughing at myself because that's not the way that's gonna work. This is a piece of window sheet. And this piece of window sheet is one and a quarter by four, I believe. I'm trying to find my, did I put that on there? I don't think I did. But anyways, I remember that measurement. Now we're going to take some mini glue dots and we're going to put this one little mini glue dot in the corner, each corner, I should say, in each corner. And you want to keep them fairly close to the corner. Here we go. So we've got four little glue dots. Turn this over. We're going to put this window right in here. It's going to fit right over that. Okay? So now we have that window there. Pretty simple, right? Now we're just going to put this box together. And here's what I did. Where's my tear and tape? Right here. I used the tear and tape. And our box is going to go together like this. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I am going to put some tear and tape right here. And um, right here. Hang on, it's getting away from me. Right on the edge there, okay? And then with my pen, take your pick tool I'm going to get out my pokey end. That just helps me to get this paper off. Now, one thing, when I used to make boxes years ago, I didn't realize. I would try to hold these up. I would try to hold them up and stick them together and try and get them real straight. Nah. Keep them laying flat on the, on the table and just fold it over. Isn't that so much easier? Oh my gosh. Hi, Linda Bowen. Welcome. Okay, there we go. Now, we need to glue one end of this box together because we don't want our candies falling out the other end. So I am going to... You could use tear tape here. 
And you could try getting your glue out of the bottle. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I'm glad I keep that pin right on the end, or on the edge of my bottle, so I always have it. Now you wanna make sure you're squaring this up. Because this is made out of designer series paper, it's not the sturdiest. So it can wiggle back and forth and then your box won't be square. So you wanna make sure you're squaring it up. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue right here. And then before I push that tab all the way in here, I want to add a little bit of glue here so this stays glued together. There we go. Just like that. Now, open this up and push your bone folder down in there. Bone folder has a lot of good uses and this is another one of them. I'm just going to push that little tab so that's sticking nicely. I'll look at this again and make sure, oh, see, it wasn't squared up, so now I'm squaring it up again. It, it moves, and that's why I like to use the glue. I'm going to push it in there again, and now it's going to set up. Okay, Lindor truffles. So these are, I, I bought these because of the color. Now I have to tell you a little something, and this is kind of funny. I am a, I am not a chocolate connoisseur. I really do not like good chocolate, and I know this is going to hurt a lot of people. I am a trailer trash chocolate girl. I like Hershey's. <laughs> but I know that all my friends like this fancy chocolate. And that's why I buy it. Because these gifts are for them. And then I know too that I will not eat these. <laughs> so they can stay in my office as long as I need them to be. I will not run out of them. Now I thought I had some of those gold truffles. The Lindor truffles. And those will fit perfectly. Three in here. You know they come in the little cups. Those will fit perfectly, but I didn't have any of those. I only had these. So these work fine. And then I kind of built my project around the colors of these, which I thought were really pretty. Did you see me close that lid? It's just that simple, you guys. Look at how cute this box is. And I wish I was the person who created the box. I'm not. I'm not one of those people. I don't do those types of things. I just like to take other people's dimensions and then make my own. So who just said they love Hershey's too? Connie does. <laughs> Bridget. I know, right? I just don't like good chocolate. It's sicky sweet to me. I love Hershey's. I'm a trailer trash chocolate girl. That's just it. Okay. Now, what's the rest of this going to be? So we've got, this is going to be a whole gift card holder thing or a card with a treat right on the side of it. I've got a piece of um, cherry cobbler here. And this piece is... Four and a quarter by six and five eighths, and I've scored it at four inches. So we're just going to fold that over, burnish that edge. Your box is going to go right on here, okay? And then this creates a little pocket. So I am going to bring in a piece of the designer paper that matches my box. And this is where I need to punch the holes, so I'm not going to forget to do that. This piece that goes on there is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to take that and adhere it to this flap, okay? So hang tight. i got to think about what I'm doing here so I don't mess this up. Because I blew this on one of my samples, too. <laughs> it happens. You know, the first item that you make, if you're going to make multiples of something, is always the hardest. And just know that that's true for everybody across the board. It's always the first one is always the hardest. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of tear and tape, and I'm going to put it right down here to um, glue that flap on the bottom. Then I'm going to take some tear and tape, and we're going to put it right over here on the side. Just as close to that edge as you can get it. And it doesn't matter that this designer paper is a little bit bigger than that um, cardstock. So don't worry about that. And next we're going to, this is where the punch the hole comes in. I just got a one and a quarter inch punch. You can use a one inch punch, a one and three eighths inch punch. It doesn't really matter. But the thing that I wanted to do, your box is just a little bit bigger than this cherry cobbler. 
and I wanted my hole to be centered. So I wanted to set this right on here, push it right over to this edge. Where's my pencil? Here's my pencil. Get out my pencil and eyeball the center here. And my center is right there, okay? We're just going to punch this top layer about halfway or a little less than halfway I usually like to do. And I'm gonna make sure that this is in the center. That dot is in the center, like from left to right, it's in the center. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to take all these little pieces off. Where did my, here's my take your pick tool. Is it time for a drink yet? Oh, I think it is. Take a drink, people. I want anybody dehydrated while we're stamping. <laughs> and here we go. Boom. Super duper easy, right? Okay, now we have a couple more things left. Um, one of those things, ooh, I don't have a two inch strip. Hang on just a second while I grab myself a two inch strip here. Here's four and a quarter by two. Okay, you need a two inch piece by four and a quarter. And we're going to use our scalloped label topper punch. Scallop topper punch, I don't know what it's called. Scallop something with the topper. <laughs> the stress of being live, right? You lose your mind. And then, hmm, here comes this. We're gonna do some really cute stamping on here. So I've got cherry cobbler ink. And I'm going to bring in this little ho, ho, ho. Now I have to tell you, if you stamp this upside down, it's just going to say, oh, oh, oh. So make sure you've got it right side up. So it says, ho, ho, ho. Because guess what? My first sample said, oh, oh, oh. And that's not real Christmassy. <laughs> now I just centered this. I got it kind of going off the top a little bit. And I just centered it. And I'm just going to, now you can come in here and you can make this match right up with what was left on those lines. Look how that just keeps going. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. And if you want to, go ahead and stamp the back too because, well, why not? It's fun. I love this little stamp. And we're going to line those up right in here. There we go. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is where did that here's that baker's twine we're using this um festive farmhouse cotton twine on this card also and again this is in the mini catalog and it is still available so that's exciting news and i'm going to take about i don't know four inches or so and we're going to go with four strands i just wove it back and forth we're going to pop this through that little tag end cut that so you see what i did there Whoops, magic. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to cut it though. Okay, here we go. Fold this in half. And then we're gonna push this through. This is the loopy end. We're gonna push that through. And I think I wanna push it through from the back. This side isn't as nice. See, I got that little gap there, so I want the other side. Well, you know what? Never mind. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but I want my ribbon or my twine to look nice when I do this part. I'm kind of picky about weird things like that. I don't know. Oh, and Sue says hers. Her bundle is being delivered to her on Tuesday, and she can't hardly wait. Well, good for you. Okay, now I'm going to trim this off about right there. The other thing, whoops. <laughs> so earlier today I had my garbage can back behind me so I just took those that I cut off and threw them back there right on the floor <laughs> because my garbage can isn't there anymore it's um over to the side okay um tear and tape now gift card holder that's what I'm going to do with this now you could not stamp this on here and you could stamp you know little images or whatever you want but I'm going to put just a little piece of tear and tape on here because guess what this is going to hold my gift card. And so when you get your gift card, this one's obviously dead, but when you get your gift card, you're gonna peel that off and you're gonna stick it right on there and then it'll stick your gift card to it. <laughs> Vicki says she does that all the time. Yeah, I just flipped it right on the floor. Okay, next thing I wanna do 
is I want a bow for my box. So I've got my bow jig here. And for those of you that haven't gotten one of these but are going to email me telling me you want one, you can't get one till spring now because Denise and her husband are gone for the winter. So don't even ask. Um, I don't have an outlet for you to um, order one of these right now. But if you get back to me in April, she'll be back in business. <laughs> and Sue says she's a trailer trash chocolate person too. <laughs> this will be perfect with Hershey Kisses. Yes, actually a few years ago I made a box like this with Hershey Kisses. This one's just a little bit different because it uses the envelope punch board, which I thought was pretty cool. But I did, oh, you know what? I'll show it to you. This was a huge hit, you guys. And see, it is very different. The boxes, you know, it's different. But this holds a gift card. Yeah. Wasn't that cute? Do you remember this penguin? This was a huge, huge hit. Like three or four or five years ago. Look at all the fuzzy dust on it. Yeah, super cute. Okay, back to this. We're going to take a mini glue dot now. If I can find them, do you see them laying here, you guys? Where are the mini glue dots? Hang on, did I put them back in? I shouldn't have. Well, hang on. I have lots. Did you guys see them laying here? I don't see them either. Okay, here we go. Mini glue dot. I'm going to roll this just a little bit because I don't like it sticking out from underneath my baker's twine bows. That makes me, I don't know, I'm real anal about stuff like that. There we go. And I'm going to put this. You want to make sure your box opens from the top, you guys. So don't forget to check that out. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so we got this. We got this. Here comes our gift card holder. Um, one of the other things that I need to do is I die cut a stitch shape oval um, from Whisper White cardstock. And then I have this scrap. So we're going to take the candy cane. And a little tip on using this particular bundle. Hang on, I just stuck my finger in the red ink. We just had a long conversation about the red ink the other day. <laughs> that it always gets all over your hands. I don't know why. Um, you want to kind of look at your punch. Because this candy cane doesn't go straight up and down like that. It's kind of angled like that. So when it stamps, it's going to be like this instead of like that. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to stamp it like this. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm going to bring in my punch. And it's going to line up perfectly. And you'll get used to that the more you use it. But the first couple times I used it, I had to kind of trim off the edge because I couldn't get my punch in where it belonged. Then I'm going to take some shaded spruce. Yeah, <laughs> Wendy says she'd have her elbow in it by now. I know what you mean. <laughs> That is so true. I can totally relate to that. And here comes my shaded spruce bow. Now this is the background, the solid image. And now I'm going to bring in the outlined image. And watch how pretty this is. If I can get it. Oh, I did really good. Well, it's hard to see in the camera. But trust me, you can really see the lines on that. And we're going to punch this out, too, because you've got the candy cane and the bow in here, which is pretty cool. I should have stamped that on the other side of my cardstock so I wouldn't be wasting all that. If, if I stamped it over there, I could bring it in from here, right? Yeah, I just wasn't thinking that happens to the best of us. <laughs> I do it a lot. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Okay, so here's my little bow. Let me get this up. And... We're going to bring out those mini dimensionals again. Well, this might be quite good exercise for me to stand while I stamp and do my Facebook Live. Although I, I have to tell you, I'm not liking it. <laughs> because my feet are getting kind of tired. But what a baby am I. I'll be okay. Don't worry, guys. But I am standing up so I can see all your messages coming in. Okay, so we've got one more thing to do to our little oval. And that is the Be Jolly. Now... All of these stamps that I've used so far for this project are all in that candy cane set. Candy cane season, it's called. Okay, so here's our cute little Bee Jolly. Here comes our little candy cane. And do I have green ink? Yep, look at that. I've got green ink all over. Yep. And, oop, 
I see another fuzz. I wonder, oh, that's probably from that kisses thing I brought out. Like, where's all this fuzz coming from? <gasps> Look at how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. And here comes my little bow. And I'm going to put that right on here. Is that not stinking adorable? Okay, one more thing. Oh, you know what? I bet this was the piece I needed for the back. So hang tight, because I know what size that is. In a hurry. And I am just going to cut another one of those. This piece is going to go on the back of my box. And I am just going to stamp this cute little heart with the candy canes right down here. And the Merry Christmas is coming from the Timeless Tidings. Again, I'm still pulling from this greeting set for all these projects when I need to. And I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, isn't that just such traditional, beautiful colors? Okay, here we go. We're going to glue this on the back of this piece that we made our pocket in. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look it. There's the red ink. Yep, I still have it on my fingernail. Look at that, right there. Yep, gotta love it. Okay, <laughs> and then here's the front. This is gonna go here. We're gonna glue this box on, and how we're gonna do that is again, tear tape. Now, while I know that my glue is super um, sticky, okay, I still like tear tape for some things. It's like sticky strip, and I love that you can tear it, right? But it is like sticky strip. That's how strong it is. And for some of these projects, you need something stronger than the liquid glue or the tape runners. So we're going to peel this off. So you want to make sure that's sticking down there. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. Somebody told me from Australia that they liked that I said, you little bugger, because that's what they say over there. Yeah, we say it here in the States sometimes, too. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. Whoops. Actually, line it up with the edge over here. That's what you want to be looking at. I was looking at the wrong side. Cindy, I hope I'm doing you proud. Cindy's the one who gave me this idea. Oops, there we go. We're going to do this. That tucks right in there. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Oh, super cute. We're almost done. Here goes the Be Jolly. Here comes our tag with our gift card stuck to it, right? And that slides right in here. What do you guys think? I was so excited to show this to you. I, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't hardly wait. They're going to love it. Now, I have another one all put together, and I decided to do something different with it, but I didn't do it yet. Like, uh, It's like, oh, I think this will turn out, but we'll see. So let me show you that one. I'm just going to show you how I decorated it. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's 8.30 already. We've been having so much fun. I just lost track of time, you guys. I hope you're still with me and you're okay, because this next one is going to be pretty cool, too. Okay, so I am going to close this up. We're done with the cherry cobbler. And we're done with the shaded spruce. So get that out of the way. I'm going to put these away. This next one is super cute, too. And I think that the teenagers in my family are really going to get a kick out of this one. Hang on, I got this all screwed up somehow. Whatever, we'll just push it out of the way. Okay. Here goes this one. I'll set this over here. Oh, I'm almost glistening. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> okay, and who won these dots before? That was Mary? Kathy. Kathy, here comes these, these um, red rhinestones. This is where I'm going to use them. Okay. So what I did, the idea that I came up with I thought was kind of cool. I took my letters. Now we have a whole set of letter framelits that I can't put my hands on right now, but they're here someplace because I got these out of here. But I wanted to cut out a hoe, right? <laughs> Not a hoe like you guys might be thinking. This is a hoe like what Santa says. <laughs> Keep it clean, ladies. 
Okay, so we're gonna die cut this. And through the magic of TV, of course I've already done that. And even more magical than that, I have my little, oops, hang on. I've got my layer done here and I've already punched it too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my hoe on here and I'm gonna come in with the shaded spruce and the ivy leaf. And where is this coming from? Hmm. Oh, this is coming from, again, the candy cane season. So I've been using this a lot. <laughs> Vicki says no comment. <laughs> okay, keep it clean. So I'm gonna ink up this ivy leaf and I think I'm gonna just stamp it right here like this. I wanted my hoe in there. <laughs> So that I could see for placement okay and then I think I'll do another one maybe um, right here okay perfect now we're gonna get out these beautiful little red rhinestones and I love them and Pat Man says are you sure that is plain Pepsi you know you're not the only one to ask me that <laughs> Yes, it is plain Pepsi. This is me. This is the real Kelly without any type of drugs. I just say no to drugs. I don't do any drugs. And I'm not drinking any alcohol. As a matter of fact, you guys, you will, I rarely ever drink alcohol. Like, it is very rare. Maybe two or three times a year. So, yeah, this is the real me. I'm just this much fun, Pat. <laughs> and what's... Vicky saying, every time you say ho, I can feel the, I can't read that because it's underneath my phone holder, but um, I'll catch it when I'm done. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? These rhinestones, I love them. They're really, really bright and vibrant red. And by the way, the last card that I used um, Cherry Cobbler on, this is real red, and that's why I changed to real red for these letters instead of just sticking with Cherry Cobbler because I wanted to use these rhinestones and they don't go very well with the Cherry Cobbler because they're real red. Okay, I am looking. Yeah, I'm always on a natural high, Rhonda. That's a really good way to put it, you know? Life is short and I am a happy person and if you can't be happy, I'm sorry for you. I And I don't like feel sorry for you, but I, I, it, you're just missing a lot. And um, be happy. Life is short. Make the most of it. That's why I love to travel. It's like, you know, I don't live in a fancy house. And God knows my vehicle is a piece of junk. <laughs> but I travel and I explore the world. And I'm always up for an adventure. And that's what's important to me in life. And don't get me wrong. If anybody wants to give me a brand new house and a new vehicle, I will gladly take it. <laughs> but I am not going to burn my life away trying to live in a way that I really can't afford. So there you go. There's Kelly's two cents on life. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? This is so adorable. So I put everything together here so far so that I could just bring this in and show it to you because I thought it was going to turn out stinking adorable and who doesn't want a hoe? <laughs> gift card. Now, Remember the last one that I made? It went like this. And here's our gift card holder, and here's our back. Well, this one is sideways. See that? And here's our message on the back. I used the tree from the Timeless Tidings in shaded spruce. And then see these little dots right here? Yeah, I just did those right there. I thought, oh, that might look cool. And it did. And then I used that mixed satin ribbon. This is still available also. This is beautiful real red ribbon. One side is satin here, one side is satin, and the other one is grosgrain. So beautiful. All right, you guys. Make sure that you share my video and make sure that you're checking to see if you have access to my VIP group if you think you should have. If you have placed an order with me, you should be able to get into that VIP group. Oh, hey, what's this all about, right? Don't go anyplace. I forgot something. So let's say that you wanted this to be a little more kid-friendly or a little cuter. How about this little guy? How cute is that with the hoe? What do you guys think of that? <laughs> I love these little elves. And that's from the Signs of Santa. This set is also still available from the Holiday Mini Catalog. So 
Um, while the framelits are out of stock, they're gone already, you can certainly cut these little elves out. It wasn't very hard at all. So lots of cute images in here too that you don't have to have the framelits for, but I thought that might be adorable too. Okay, so we made this and this, and we made, da, 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 da. well, I made these, but you know, it's the same thing. <laughs> and this one we made. And where's another one? I have some more gift card holders. Oh, here's the other one. I untied all these so we could see the inside. I have that going on. Here we go. Now, make sure when you're placing your orders, if your order is under $150, you want to make sure you're using my December host code. That's how I get all the free stuff to give to you guys. That's how it happens. Because, you know, if you have a home party, if your party is on... Um, you're the hostess, every order that people put in, it goes towards your Stampin' Rewards, right? Well, when people are placing online orders and they use the host code, that goes towards my Stampin' Rewards, which then allows me to buy all this stuff with the Stampin' Rewards and give it away free to you guys. That's how I do that. So um, make sure you're using that host code. If your order's under $150, if it's not, if it's over $150, bless your heart. Um, I will I will still give you special perks from me, but you want to not use the host code because you'll get your own rewards from Stampin' Up! And I would rather see you have them, um, definitely. And don't forget to share my video. Don't forget that um, December is going to be a big giveaway month. I have um, four to $500 in product that I'm going to be giving away to my ordering customers. So if you've placed an order with me, Click on that VIP link that's on my Facebook page. I just posted it at 4 o'clock tonight. See if you can get into that VIP Facebook group. It is a private group that I have invited you to if you have ordered from me. I'm going to be doing some exclusive Facebook Lives. I'm going to be showing you some sneak peeks and some cards made with new stamp sets coming out of the Occasions Mini and the Celebration brochure. So... Um, you don't want to miss that. And I'm going to be giving away a whole bunch of stuff. And we're talking bundles. Bundles and embellishments and ribbons and all kinds of amazing things. So um, make sure you share the video. I think I said that like five times now. I'm really sorry. And um, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your sticking with me tonight and watching me. I hope you like these projects. I will be posting all the dimensions and details on my blog tonight as soon as I get the photography done for it. I will put the dimensions on above my Facebook Live video. Um, as soon as I shut this off, I'll post it to the Facebook page and you'll have all the details that you need. Now, you can re-watch this video as many times as you want. You can fast forward, you can rewind, you can pause, you can do whatever you need to do to be successful with your projects. And um, I think I'll put a picture of this on my blog also because this is kind of helpful for the, um, the dimensions. This was just a little template I made. I always make these types of things up ahead of time with some designer paper that's retired. And that's why I keep a pack in my office so I can not feel guilty about using it <laughs> and um, make up these templates to share with you and also to figure out what the heck I'm doing, right? Okay, you guys, I will be back live on December 16th. Um, as always, I appreciate your shares, your comments, your orders. Thank you so much. This is how I pay my bills. This is my full-time job. And can I just say that I absolutely love it. If I missed any questions, I usually go back through all the comments to make sure that I didn't miss anybody's questions. Um, if you don't happen to get a reply from me on a question, just post it again because sometimes there's like a gazillion comments and I might miss one. Make sure you click on that like button on my, um, underneath my, my video. Right now you can click on a like button. That also helps me out with my numbers. I appreciate that. Last minute Christmas stuff. I will be making gift cards right up until like a day or two before Christmas because that's how I operate. And also these little treat kind of things. I have a special um, lunch this week that I'm going to be um, taking some of these items that I've been making to. And I know they're going to love them. So 
You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Watch for, I've got a video coming out on Wednesday, a tip video. If you guys have any tips to share with me that I might be able to use for that Wednesday tip video, I, I'm always looking for um, interesting ideas or even mundane ideas that we need to be reminded of because, you know, we need to know those things too. I really appreciate it. Just let me know. Pop me an email. Leave me a comment. Send me a private message. I appreciate that. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Don't get cranky when you go Christmas shopping. Feel that holiday spirit. Steve and I are probably going to go get our Christmas tree maybe tomorrow if he's feeling decent enough. I'm kind of skeptical um, that he won't be. But that's okay. We're not in any rush. We get a real tree. And let's face it, the needles fall off less the later you wait. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we don't have any Christmas lights up on our house because he just hasn't felt good enough to do it. It's kind of sad, but it's the truth. And... Um, Please, you know, keep your prayers coming, your thoughts for um, some type of solution with his doctor's appointment on Friday because I hope they can figure out what's going on with him. This has been too long now that he's pretty miserable. All right, you guys, I'm going to sign off and um, I will see you guys all back here next Sunday, December 16th at 7 p.m. Have a great week. Good night.